Ow! I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off hey maybe you were right about the lichens Definitely some sort of monitoring station. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us.
I've found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? I have no idea. Maybe another couple that's out here? Do you have any ideas? It's just you and me, Henry. Yeah, I know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. They keep this wave receiver thing in a crate. I mean, it looks like their prized piece of equipment. Well, it's ours now. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. 
we should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Uh... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here, it would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. climbing out of here, and um, now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? 
No! I am getting drunk! Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harshing my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. When you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough.
What are you doing over there? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. Who the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout, and it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Hmm. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... 
So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. You... Uh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't.
I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Jesus, this is a big cave. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? 
I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, you made a wall and a perimeter. Perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game? Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned.
What do you think is in there? There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. Huh. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. Makes sense. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. They could be.
Ah, shit. Are you... Oh, God. Running a good one. You fell. Your stuff gave out. D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. How does that... What? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire or... 
Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit! Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Uh, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. <laughs>